Hey guys, welcome to my channel Linux King. My name is Salman Francis and today I'm back with one very interesting video and it's about Rocky Linux. So in this video we are going to compare Rocky Linux with CentOS. We are going to install Rock Rocky Linux. So without further ado, let's start. To download Rocky Linux, just visit uh, the website uh, rockylinux.org slash download and from here you can click the download and then we are going to use this minimal version but please remember it's a release candidate which means that it's in the beta version or in the beta form and it's not good for production so once you have downloaded it uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a VMware image uh, sorry VirtualBox image uh, for this and to do that click on new and we are going to give it a name Rocky Linux and select our folder it's going to be Rocky you can select any folder give it a name Linux and I'm going to use 2 GB of my RAM yeah create a virtual drive click on create I'm going to use VDI click on create and that's it so once this is done I'm going to go to settings or you can just go directly to storage and from here you can click on this empty and select on this optical drive and from here you can use the image you have downloaded from rockylinux.org click on ok once it's done click on start and if all goes well yeah we need this we will have our boot screen perfect so let me try to increase the size Okay, so I'm not going to test the media. I'm going to install Rocky Linux Direct. And guys, uh, let me tell you one thing that I have not uh, tried it. And so this is the live. I'm trying this Rocky Linux for the first time myself. So let's hope everything goes well. Okay, it's starting. So we are going to install Rocky Linux first. It's pretty much like CentOS, by the way, from the installation perspective. Okay, it's Rocky Linux 8. Okay, English United States. Continue. This is unstable pre-release software. Yeah, sure. I want to proceed. Okay. So everything is okay. We are going to give it a root password. So I'm going to just call it itpings.com. Okay, done. Please complete items mark your sure. installation destination. Of course, it's selected. Done. Then we need our network. Click on on. And we can call it rocky.local. Apply and yeah fine network is fine done and then everything's now yeah. click on software i need the minimal install for basic uh, okay we don't need any specific uh, like graphic administration or something like that because this is going to be uh, let's install system tools anyway done and that's it yep Click on begin installation and I hope in a couple of minutes we will have our working Rocky Linux. And in the meanwhile what I'm going to do is I'm going to start one my one of my CentOS machine. It's CentOS 8. So we can just start it. So that we can compare actually. Yep, got it. 
Okay, so we are in our cat etc os dash release, and you can see that we are in version 8 of our CentOS over here. So let's give some time to Rocky Linux to install. All right, guys, so our installation is almost complete. So we need to soon we need to reboot the system and remove our optical ISO or optical device. I mean the image, we need to remove ISO image and then we will boot from the hard drive or virtual hard drive. It's generating init RAMFS. All right guys, so installation is complete and we need to reboot the system. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shut it out. Uh, shut it down, sorry. Okay, from here, from VirtualBox, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to Rocky Linux and from storage area and optical drive, I'm just going to remove disk from virtual drive and then start. Okay, perfect. Everything looks normal right now. Okay, so the warning, this release is not for production. Yes, we read it already and please report all uh, pre-production bugs or issue to bugs.rockylinux.org. Okay, perfect. So Rocky Linux login, I'm going to use root and the password was itpings.com. And we have an issue. Okay, so no test for PKS, whatever, validity window. Okay, root. And it's not logging, letting me log in. It pings.com. So maybe I'm just typing the wrong password. Let me try again. Root. Wow. It's not log letting me log in. Yep, my bad. Okay, so we are into Rocky Linux Perfect and cat etc os release. And it's telling you like Rocky Linux version 8. So I think it's same as we saw in our uh, CentOS safe machine. Where's our CentOS safe machine? Oh, here it is. So this is our CentOS 8 machine and this is our Rocky Linux. So what we can see is from our Rocky Linux, we need to check if yum works here. So yum hyphen y update. Oh yeah, yum works in Rocky Linux, okay. And it's updating as well. Let me show, check. IP of my it's 192.161.162 okay it's on a different subnet by the way so it's downloading updating the packages in my Rocky Linux I think it's same as CentOS 8 because you can see it's Checking the and upgrading the SE Linux policy as well. Yeah, so I don't think that there's something different about uh, like between Rocky Linux and CentOS 8. And this, which is a good news actually, because I was really into CentOS 8, and when I heard the news that there's going to be problem. Uh, regarding its 
uh, future. So I was thinking, I started to think what Linux distro I'm going to use. So that's great news for all of us who are SendOS lovers and who like the SendOS project. Okay, so what about, okay, slash home, okay, user, add Salman, hmm. so I'm just going to give it, okay, cat etc past MD. Mm-hmm. New name hyphen ARV. So yeah, it's almost pretty much the same. So let's let's try Apache. What do you think about it? So yeah, we will install a, a web server and let me check IP address. It's 10.0. Let me change my IP address here so I can just change it from NAT to bridge and okay link is up and i think we need to check the system ctl and yeah system ctl everything is same actually okay what about system ctl system ctl restart Okay, so this is really cool because it's based on not CentOS 7, it's based on uh, CentOS 8. Okay, so now I think if we check our IP address, it's 192.168.1.188 and I think we can ping it to 162. Let's try to ping 192.168.1.188. Yep, there's network connectivity is there. Can we ping Google? Perfect. So we are good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to in install Apache Lin uh, web server to our lock uh, Rocky uh, Linux. So yum hyphen y install HTTP. So this is based on RPM package, same like CentOS 8. I think it's going to use the same repositories as well, which is a very good news. And so perfect, so we have our Apache installed. Let's go to, now let's check if we have Vim here. Do we have Vim? Vim etc. Sorry about that. And I'm going to create index.html. No, we don't have Vim, so this is same as CentOS 8. Install Vim and wget. These two packages are must. So congratulations to Rocky Linux team who have done a wonderful job and I hope they will make our CentOS 8 alive again. They already did actually. So yeah, just need to wait for the final release. At the moment it's pretty much the same as CentOS 8, so which makes me really happy. Okay, so our Vim is installed and wget is also installed. So, yep, so I'm going to create this. Is Rocky Linux, okay.
systemctl restart httpd and make sure that your uh, se linux policies are set i'm going to use etc config sorry about that se linux config and from here i'm going just to make it permissive instead of per, uh, enforcing and set and force to zero. System CTL restart HTTPD and IP address is 192.168.1.88. So let's go to our 192.168.1.88 okay so what is the problem let's check Yeah, we are on the same network, so the problem might be related to firewall. So if we go to our system CTL uh, status firewall D, it's running. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to use firewall dash cmd dash dash add dash service is equals to httpd dash dash permanent permanent http sorry not http It's HTTP and we are going to use firewall dash cmd dash dash reload. Firewall dash cmd dash dash list. All ball. So now we have our HTTP enabled. So let's try, refresh it. And perfect. So this is Rocky Linux. Great guys. So this means we are going to see a working sandwich like machine uh, Linux soon which is really good for all the CentOS enthusiasts and people who really like Red Hat and CentOS. So guys this means that soon we are going to have a CentOS like Linux in our hands and we'll be using it again so that's a really good news so I hope you like my video if you like please do subscribe share with your friends and family and give me a thumbs up. Thank you and see you in our next video. Goodbye.